morning campers. It is 7.07 .07 in the morning. The sun is not quite up yet. We are in Idaho Falls, Idaho, as opposed to all the other Idaho Falls in other states. Um, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're on I-15 at the moment. We're about to leave it though. Uh, we're gonna take a shortcut today. Instead of taking I-15 all the way up to I-90 and then I-90 over to Bozeman, uh, we're going to take US-20 over to West Yellowstone, Montana. Then we're gonna go up US Highway 191 to, are you gonna merge behind me or side by side? Behind me, okay, cool. And we're gonna take US Highway 191 up to Bozeman, which should save us about an hour. And we get to go through Yellowstone. Yay! So I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but there's some very cool clouds happening to our left called Kelvin Helmholtz waves, which is a kind of a thing that happens when you get two layers of air that are mixing together and one of those layers has a cloud in it and one doesn't. So you get this like visualization of all the little vortices that are happening in there. And so you get those neat little wave-like clouds up on our left. Uh, which I hope y'all can see because they look super cool and I have not been able to get a, a decent photograph of them because I'm driving. Uh, so maybe they're visible in this video? I don't know. But please enjoy this beautiful sky for the next moment before I end the video and keep driving towards Yellowstone. Also, apologies for the spots on the windshield. I don't know how visible those are, but I got hit by like some... I think a car in front of me ran over a bottle of soda or something and it speckled my windshield and I forgot to clean it off this morning. So, uh, they're still there. <laughs> but anyway, Kelvin Helmholtz waves, yay! <laughs> they're very cool looking, I enjoy them. Wyoming is like the boxy shape and Montana's kind of like wrapped around the northwest corner of Wyoming. That's where we are right now. Speed limit 55, speed limit 45. This is the uh, western gateway to Yellowstone National Park. That's a small airport on the right, I think? No, that's a, uh, that's not an airport. The airport's bigger than that. That's, uh, I guess, just somewhere people walk their dogs. Fetch is happening. Oh, that makes me happy. Fetch is always a good time. Uh, do, 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 do. <sighs> West Yellowstone, Montana. Speed limit 25. No snowmobiles. And cruise set 25. We're gonna proceed nice and slow through the town. We got some folks behind us, just kind of caught up with us on that last stretch of highway where it was just like, you know, 70 mile an hour road. I'm doing 62. So we got uh, one, two, three, three people behind us, including a uh, food service truck, which uh, presumably is gonna be headed into well Yellowstone. Wellstone. <laughs> presumably the food service truck is going into Yellowstone itself. Uh, do, 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 do. a big tourist town. We're kind of in the off season though. Not a lot of people coming up here this time of year. Though the, there's a lot of like snowmobile and like winter tourism stuff here as well. Just not as not as heavy as during like summer tourist season. It's a lovely little town. 
nice western star. In a quarter of a mile, turn left on Canyon Street, US 191. And the food service truck has turned off somewhere behind this. So it's at least correct they are not headed for Bozeman. Turn left on Canyon Street, US 191. Give this truck a little bit of space. Presumably, just had to stop and run into the bathroom. Oh, it's a UPS truck. Okay, who knows? All right, so this is Canyon Street. To the right is the entrance to Yellowstone National Park that actually connects to like other entrances and stuff. To our left is US Highway 191 and 287. Apparently, that's interesting. This is US 191. And we're going to head up into Yellowstone. Caution, bison roaming, animals on roadway. Dude, do you want to pass me before this passing lane ends? Because, like, there's one guy is still stuck behind me. All right, I tried. I gave him plenty of time. <laughs> Five mile an hour is the new speed limit. We're only doing about 41 right now. Fire danger low. Watercraft inspections required. There's the 55 sign. Gotta keep shifting up. Big Sky, 48 miles. NS 71, Bozeman, 89. entrance to Yellowstone coming right up. Not an entrance entrance. It's not like a park entrance. It's just, you know, this highway passes through the, a little bit of Yellowstone. Now we got a turnout here. Got nobody behind me, so I don't need to turn out. Legally required to turn out if you get four or more vehicles following you and you encounter a turnout. Yellowstone Park speed limit 55. Next uh, 20 miles. Entering Yellowstone. Woo! It's a very anticlimactic sign. <laughs> Welcome to Yellowstone National Park, everyone. Uh, 55 mile an hour maximum speed. There we go, set for 55. We're probably gonna be going a little bit slower than that in certain parts just because there are another turnout just because there are quite a few like it, it's a it's a very scenic road and a little twisty hazardous material prohibited for the next 20 miles that makes sense you can't drive hazmat through Yellowstone National Park surprising no one <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful up here absolutely gorgeous I, we picked a perfect day to come through as well because there's plenty of snow on the ground but none on the road, and that's the way I like it. <laughs> no snow on the road, lots of snow on the scenery. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nobody behind us. It's, it's really interesting. The one person that was stuck behind me took, the, uh, took US 287 up towards Ennis instead of uh, following us into the park. Like, why would you come all the way out here and not do this drive? It's so beautiful. <laughs> well, who knows? But yeah, so part of the reason that trucks are even allowed on this road is there's really no connections to the rest of the park from this highway. You can't get in, you, you have to go out of the park and then go around to one of the other entrances to connect to anything good. Uh, so there's not really much risk of trucks going off route and winding up somewhere they're not supposed to be on this particular highway. And of course, none of the really interesting tourist attractions are on this highway either, which probably helps a lot <laughs> in making this truck legal. This is more of a highway of convenience to connect West Yellowstone to I-90 up at uh, up at Bozeman, rather than uh, rather than a highway of tourism.
Alrighty folks, welcome to downtown Bozeman, Montana, which is a beautiful little city, a bit small for my taste for driving a truck through. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've, we've dealt with worse, we've dealt with worse. Are you going to try and turn in front of me? No? Cool. Thank you. looking for Rouse Avenue, which should be like kind of the other side of downtown. And we're staying in the left lane because uh, in an area like this, with this many pedestrians, this many uh, parked vehicles, you do not want to be in the right lane. Because the right, right lane is just... From left on North Rouse Avenue, MT-86. Yeah, you see the trucks on the, on the other side are all doing the same thing. Like the, the right lane is where you're going to get people opening their doors, like right in front of the truck or uh, stepping out off the off the sidewalk and stuff. And it's just uh, not the best idea if you want to, you know, get through town without incident, so to speak. Oh, that's fun, there's parked traffic on this road. Cool. That's yeah, great. If we really don't think we can make the turn, we can uh, keep going straight, get to I-90, and get it there via that route. All right, so we'll just kind of block. <laughs> Oh man, that's not a great road. That is not a great road. Eww. this uh, espresso shack here on the left to flip around and get back to the customer so all good there is something to watch out for on uh, really much better to just know which uh, which driveway belongs to your customer beforehand I could have done way better on that but uh, I did not 
Uh, and then I just missed it because of the, uh, there was that guy in the median that threw me off. Oh well. It's all good. Railroad crossing. Ah, so we're gonna hop onto I-90, head west a bit, and uh, oof. once we get to Three Forks, we'll call it a night, and we'll be picking up within Three Forks tomorrow. But in the meantime, we need to uh, get over there first. The next turn. <sighs> but yeah, so we're gonna head, we're gonna hit I-90, head west to Three Forks, and shut down for the night there. That's a graveyard to my right. That's cheerful. Um, <laughs> we're gonna shut down in Three Forks. I'm gonna call it a night. And I will see you all in the next video. My name is Elio Dare. You can find me on the internet at Elio Dare on Xbox Live, Steam, Nintendo Switch, etc. Uh, Twitter's the best place to get a hold of me, though, because I check that literally every time I stop driving. And, uh, of course, you can always just leave comments on the videos, because I do read them all, because I am a tiny, tiny channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day. Mind the pedestrian. All good.